Welcome to our new lesson in science. How are you today? I hope that you are doing fine and still maintain your joy while learning at home. Today, we will going to talk about heat transfer and their different ways of transfer like conduction, convection, and radiation. In our previous lesson, you have learned the force exerted by magnet. Magnets exert force of attraction on anything that is made of iron, nickel, and cobalt. You have also learned about magnetic force. Magnets have two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. When two magnets of the same poles are placed close to each other, they repel or push each other. However, when two magnets of different poles are placed close to each other, they attract or pull each other. Some materials are attracted by magnets and some do not. Can you identify which of these objects are attracted or not attracted by magnets? daily activities such as walking, writing, playing, washing, and many other activities throughout the day requires energy. Energy is the ability to do work. It makes things move and function. Energy can be classified into two. These are potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy at rest or stored energy. Kinetic energy is the active energy, the energy in motion. There are different forms of energy. These are heat energy, light energy, and sound energy. Today, we will going to talk about heat energy. Heat energy is a form of energy associated with motion of particles o paggalaw ng mga particles na bumubuo sa isang bagay. It is capable of being transferred through solid and liquid media by convection and conduction and through empty space by radiation. It is also called thermal energy, a transfer between bodies of different temperature. To further understand the concept about transfer of heat, or heat transfer, let us take a look at this activity. Activity 1. Melting or not. These are the materials needed in this activity. Spoons, margarine, crayon, sugar, candle, and matchstick. We will identify whether the materials are melting or not and describe how heat is transferred in solid materials. First, light the candle with the matchstick. Put margarine on the spoon. Then slowly bring the spoon to the flame of the candle. Observe the changes. Some solid materials or solid substances conduct heat easily, such as the metal spoon that we are using right now in this experiment. Some good conductor of heat includes metal, copper, aluminum, brass, steel, bronze, silver, and other metals. The molecules of metals are so compact that they allow heat energy to flow rapidly from molecules to molecules. As we have observed, the heat from the candle flames transfers rapidly to the metal spoon that causes the margarine and other materials to melt. Conduction is the transfer of heat energy through solid substances. It travels from particles to particles of solid that are in contact with each other. When you place the metal spoon on the flame, 
of the candle, the heat from the flame will transfer to the metal spoon that causes sugar, crayon, and candle to melt. That is conduction, the transfer of heat through solid materials. Okay, for activity number two, let's find out. In this activity, you will describe how heat is transferred in liquid materials. Half fill the transparent container with tap water and place the container on the top of four cups. Using the medicine dropper, put three drops of colored water at the bottom of the water. Yellow colored water on the sides and red colored water in the middle. Place a cup with hot water in the middle container, just below the drop of red colored water. Observe what happened to the red and yellow colored water. As we can see, the red colored water rise up, while the yellow colored water remain in the bottom of container. This is due to the glass of water at the bottom of the container. The molecules at the bottom get heated first. The heated molecules move and rise, pushing the top molecules which are called to the bottom. That movement of heat is called convection, the method of heat transfer through the movement of fluid like liquid and gas. Okay, let's move on to activity number three. You can do it. In this activity, you will describe how heat is transferred through empty space. These are the materials needed in this activity. We have plate, margarine, twig, butter, plastic bottle, and ice cubes. First, put all the materials on the plate. Then go out, then place all the materials under the sun. Observe what happened to the materials after 5 minutes. Now, after 5 minutes, as we can see, the twig and the bottle remain the same, while the ice, the butter, and margarine melted. Ice cubes, margarine, and butter melted due to radiation. Radiation is the transfer of heat energy by infrared rays. The heat rays travel through space without any matter. Heat from burning woods travels by radiation to your body is another example. Now to check your understanding, look and study the illustration. Describe and level the diagram based on the type of heat transfer. Now compare your answer. Do you get all the points right? Good! I know you are now ready to answer the post-test. Enjoy learning!